Okay, common sense postulate time. Remember, postulates are accepted truths, and you guys are very bright, so I'm not really worried about you accepting this as a true fact, but I want to make sure we're all on the same page again. And I want to make sure we understand this. Do you guys agree with me? We have arc ABC. They just want you to understand this is your arc. Do you agree with me that arc AB, arc BC, which is this one right here, all add together to be arc ABC? So can I add up all these arcs together? And you're right, we can do that without overlapping. And it's the same thing as like sigma addition postulate, angle addition postulate. Some of the parts equal the whole. So don't be forget that. And remember, if I added up all the arcs of a circle, they would add up to how many degrees? Very good, 360 degrees. So now let's actually practice the measures of these to see if we can um, work with it. And in fact, what I think is easier is if we find the measure of the arcs on the diagram first and then go back and fix it over here, okay? Let's work with the minor arcs first. Everything's that's less than 180 degrees. So I'm gonna look at angle ACB, that's my central angle. So that would be arc AB. If this one's 90 degrees, what's the measure of my minor arc? That's right, 90 degrees. Well, that means this one was 90 degrees because those are a linear pair. So arc AE is also 90 degrees. Well, are these two a linear pair? Yeah. So if this is 130, that leaves this angle to be 50 degrees. Well, that angle goes with that minor arc, so that's 50 degrees and that's 130 degrees. So now I kind of have all the arcs together figured out, I can actually start putting in the different measurements. Like here, it says find the measure of each arc. So they go arc AE. Well, we found that to be 90 degrees. So the measure of arc AE equals 90 degrees. Notice the instant I use the equal sign, an M goes in front of the arc. The measure of arc AE, treat it just like an angle of a triangle. Then we want to know the measure of arc D, B, A. Notice I started with D, I mean D, went to B, and then I ended at A. So the measure of arc D, B, A equals 130 plus 90, 220 degrees. In fact, if you, I would really like you to show that. So you know what? Here, let's just put our math off to the side so we can see it a little bit easier. Okay? Now, another way that someone did it is like, well, what if I did, you know, 360 minus 140? Yeah, that works. No one's going to stop you. Okay, um, how about the measure of arc A, B, D? I hope you realize D, B, A and A, B, D are the same thing. So you shouldn't have to do any new calculations. It's exactly the same arc. We're hoping to emphasize that. What's the measure of arc E, D? What did we find it to be? That's right, 50 degrees. Great job. How about arc AED? Now, I know it's not a major arc or a semicircle, and it's named with three points, but that just lets us know exactly where we're going to go. So you can always name a minor arc with three, but you always, normally we do just with two, but um, you always have to name a major arc or a semicircle with three. So those are, you always have to use three. So we have arc AED. Well, that's just going to be 90 plus 50. That's 140. So the measure of arc AED is 140 degrees. Then we go to the measure of arc BD. Well, arc BD is just 130 degrees. I love this stuff, guys. It's just fun to work with circles after working with all the other stuff we've had before. All right, now on the next one, we talk about congruent arcs. Now here's the rule for this one. It says within a circle or congruent circles, congruent arcs are arcs that are um, two arcs that have the same measure. So like here, since these two angles are the same, I know these two arcs, and notice I marked them just like I would do um, line segments almost, would be the same measure. But here's the reason why. If I have a small angle circle and a large circle, I can draw a 90 degree angle for both. And those both arcs would have a 90 degree measure, but can you tell me those are physically the same size? You know, if I drew that a little bit better. Is that the same size? Is that? No, it's about a two thirds of it. Well, the radii makes that much of a difference, so that's why they have to be in the same circle or congruent circles. Um, just some other refresher things we need to remember. 
our radius goes from the center to the, to our circle, a point on the circle. Our diameter is all the way through, right? Our center is in the middle. What's circumference? Circumference is just the distance around. And they're showing like if I was to take a circle and unroll it, that's your circumference. Another thing you just need to remember, it's the perimeter of a circle. It's the distance around. It's kind of just the terminology we use for it. Um, let's see if you remember way back from um, middle school the circumference of a circle. Did anyone go pi times diameter or 2 pi r? Um, these are only slightly huge. Um, make sure you know those. <laughs> so circumference formula, always know. Um, one thing people also forget, remember that the diameter is 2 times the radius. So we can easily find the two links when we work with it. All right, we got those definitions. Now we got to go apply some new stuff here.